Aloha, I'm Father Damien. I started taking care of sick people in Molokai in 1864. Hi, I'm Glenn Wakai. I am a senator who has an office in this beautiful and magnificent building. My office is on the fourth floor. This is the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. You'll notice this little pimple here. It's called a rotunda. It's capped. Very different from the rotunda we have here in Hawaii. Ours lets in the wind, the rain, and the sun. Here we are on the fourth floor of this beautiful building. And there's my office. This is my hallway to my office. This is not Le Rams, not like a bakery. This is the Los Angeles Rams. If you recall, in August of 2019, they played a professional football game here in Hawaii against the Dallas Cowboys. In 24 hours, 50,000 tickets were sold. The fans were, were awesome from the start to the finish. And really just, you know, uh, being here in general over the last couple days has been a great experience for our organization. Sports is a huge economic driver, meaning we can make money as well as create excitement for our community. Let's go into my office. Well, this is my office and we have football outside. Inside, we have a surfboard because why? Because I think in Hawaii, we take surfing for granted. Duke Kahanamoku introduced surfing to the world a hundred years ago. Tucked into the barrel. Hawaii is still called the surfing capital of the world, but some say that title has lost its luster. You look at California, you look at Australia, they've glorified surfing, they celebrate surfing, and they monetize surfing. State Senator Glenn Wakai says Hawaii needs to do the same, starting with building a surfing museum. There's a surf museum in Oceanside, California. There's a surf museum in Australia. We're the center of surfing. We don't even have a surf museum. This is Mommy. He's my best friend. Come on, Mommy, we got things to do. How do you make a law? Well, first it starts with bing, an idea. You have to think, hmm, now what is wrong with society or what is a problem that exists out there? Well, about 10 years ago, I realized that this place, Aloha Stadium, was getting old right now. It's 45 years old. You can see it's an entirely steel structure that's a quarter mile from the ocean. And if you know about living in Hawaii, salt water and steel just don't go together. So what's happened is this rust, plenty of rust. It cost us about $16.16 million a year to keep the stadium standing. Now that's a problem. Plus, the stadium is built only for football. What about soccer? This is the biggest sport on the planet. And what about rugby? This is a fast growing sport. And oh, I gotta show you this. This is a rugby noisemaker. Ah, hurt my ears. So we need to get a new stadium built. One that is more than just a stadium facility, but look at all of the things we can put around it. This is called mixed use. We can have housing, we can have retail stores, we can have restaurants, we can have theaters, bowling alleys, pools, whatever, you name it. We have around the stadium 98 acres, almost 100 acres of land to play around with. So the stadium will be a big part of it, but look at all this other land that we can use to develop it. So the idea came to me, we should build a new stadium. So in 2018 or actually 2019, I drafted what's called a bill and this bill has a number, it's 1586. We track all of our bills, which are ideas, with a number. So this is a bill for an act relating to the structure of government. And in it, I won't bore you with all the details, but it defines what a stadium district is, 
how many years will we allow for the private sector to lease the land? It sets up a mechanism for building it. Who's gonna do it? You, you, you. And also lets us know that we're gonna put $350 million into the stadium. So we put all of that nice important stuff into the language of a bill and we introduce it. In January here at the legislature, we have about 3,000 ideas or bills that are introduced. In May, we send those ideas to the governor and we send uh, about 250 bills a year to his office. So you can see if you're good at math, 3,000 starts, only 250 end up becoming a law. That means 92% of the ideas, they don't make it. It's really hard to be the lucky 8% that actually become a law. For a bill to advance, it must go through a public hearing. This is where people get to say why they like or dislike an idea and where lawmakers ask questions. If it's not you and whoever the next person may or may not be, that person is going to be facing the same situation of a lack of resources. At the end of the public hearing, a vote is taken by the five senators on the committee. If the measure passes, it moves on to the next committee and will eventually be voted on by the entire Senate. Wow, look at this magnificent room. I wonder what goes on in here. Woo, man, it's hot outside. Thank goodness we have air conditioned comfort in the Senate chamber. There are 25 senators who work in this room. They come from Kauai, Maui, Molokai, Lanai, Big Island, as well as Oahu. In this arena, senators debate with each other. It's the Senate President's responsibility to move the process along. On most days, we're done in about a half hour. But on controversial days, we could be talking for six hours. Hi, this is where I sit. Sometimes I use a microphone to talk about, you know, dramatic things that are happening here that are good, sometimes not so good. But I really think that for you, you want to know what's in a senator's drawer. Let's check it out. The most important thing in this drawer is this pen and this tally sheet. This is a vote sheet. It has all 25 senators' names here. And if we're in a close controversial vote, you know, like 12 to 13, I want to know, right, who's yes and who's no. This is kind of our scorecard to let us know how things are progressing while we're taking our vote. And then we have this. This is called a staff directory. You have a yearbook, but this is kind of our yearbook. And it tells me all the people who work, uh, not just senators, but their staff in other senators' offices. Lots of people smiling. Not everybody, though. Um, but this is super important uh, on those days when you need to know who's working here. And we have Senate rules. This is important too. We have to understand what comes next. Can I make any kind here? Uh, but this one is not quite as fun as the Senate directory because no more pictures. Uh, and perhaps the most important thing in the Senator's drawer is this Kleenex. Because sometimes we can get some controversial <laughs> bills that I really feel passionate about and other people don't. And I don't know why, but this is there in case we have those discussions. There's another secret at the Capitol. On the fourth floor, there's a wraparound patio. Perfect for walking money. Hope you learned a lot. Ahui ho. Aloha.